A recently published analysis has debunked the distorted pro-shark finning arguments of two apparent American shark fisheries advocates who have tried to block the US Shark Fin Trade Elimination Act of 2017. In a paper entitled A United States Shark Fin Ban Would Undermine Sustainable Shark Fisheries, they claimed that it was misguided and promoted the idea that banning the shark fin trade in America would be bad for sharks. David Schiffman of Simon Fraser University, British Columbia, and Robert Hooter of Moat Laboratories, Florida, argued that the United States should continue to participate in the shark fin trade and that American shark fishermen should continue to profit from it. The analysis shows that the figures used in support were selectively chosen or simply incorrect. For example, they claimed that the USA is but a small contributor to the shark fin trade. However, checks show that in fact several hundred tons of shark fins are consumed in America each year and imports are steadily rising, in spite of the bans in such major centres as California and New York. Strangely, it now emerges that the United States obfuscates its trade by recording much of its imports and exports simply as meat instead of as shark fins. The United States is the seventh largest shark fishing nation in the world. The shark fisheries advocates sought to cast doubt on the idea that the shark fin trade is responsible for the catastrophic loss of sharks that has occurred in all oceans. However, the documentation of the trade shows that actually four times the number of sharks have died than have been reported by fisheries. The targeted hunt for fins has a huge and continuing impact on shark numbers. Only one third of shark species are considered safe at the moment, and the most threatened are those most accessible in shallow waters. Still, long lining in the open ocean targets species for which no immediate danger was foreseen. Fisheries management has clearly failed this group of animals. In spite of all its efforts to manage its own fisheries responsibly, the United States is thus implicated in a global disaster, which is why the Shark Fin Trade Elimination Act had been put forward. The advocates claimed that sharks being targeted for meat represents a different kind of threat. However, the new study shows how the high value of shark fins has in fact been driving and inflating the market for shark meat simply in order to profit from the fins. Their own publication illustrates this motivation. Many fisheries are in trouble because of overfishing, so turning to taking sharks for food is a serious ecological danger sign. Globally, the tendency towards less discarding of the shark's body has not lessened mortality, which was the optimistic intent of fins attached regulations. The shark fishing advocates claimed success for sustainable shark fisheries and implied that these are in place around the world. In contrast, the new analysis shows that no shark fishery supplying the shark fin trade is sustainable and describes why the so-called sustainable shark fisheries in the United States are unlikely to be sustainable in the long term either even if thought so now. The paper in question dismisses shark depletion by stating that species in trouble are protected by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, or CITES. But in fact CITES listings are opposed by shark hunting nations and protection must be gained for one species at a time while the shark fin market involves all species. Since it is difficult routinely to determine the species from which a fin has been taken once separated from the shark, enforcement is weak. Further, the only protection granted by CITES listing is the need for a non-detrimental finding before the fins can be exported. Note that the convention is for international trade only. There is no protection from being fished commercially in the first place. Shark numbers are down to around 10% of 1950s levels. The removal of large predators from the very top of the food chain can cause entire ecosystems to collapse. With the human population growing so quickly, the pressure on sharks can only continue to grow, and no species can withstand targeted industrial fishing. The new study finds that no commercial shark fishery can prove sustainable. The authors therefore recommend a complete global ban on trade in sharks and their parts, the same protection granted to sea turtles. Sharks are vitally important to the ecological health of our oceans. That one recipe for a status symbol soup from just one of the world's cultures has had such a serious effect on them says a lot about humanity's priorities, immediate profit, short-term pleasure. This is the tragedy of the commons yet again. The goal now should be that there is no market for shark fins whatsoever.
the new analysis removes any doubt about the importance and relevance of the current version of the Act, the Shark Fin Sales Elimination Act of 2019. There is sound evidence to support its provisions being made law.